What's going on guys? This is Tyler, registered pharmacist with Pharmacy Update. And today I'm going to talk about a commonly dispensed drug, Monte Lucast, or brand name Singular. I'm going to go over just some general information about Monte Lucast, how it works, and then at the end of the video I'll cover side effects, including one that you may want to watch out for. So let's get into it. So first, just a general overview of Monte Lucast. The FDA approved uses are asthma, exercise induced asthma, and seasonal rhinitis or allergies. Now the general recommendation when you are taking Monte Lucas is to take it in the evening and this is based on some evidence that it may work better if you take it at night. There was a study done in 2006 that found that it could possibly work better if taken at night compared to during the day, um, but honestly the results in the study really weren't that conclusive. As far as clinical significance, I personally think it's really unclear if it actually works better or not when taken in the evening. So if you're someone that maybe takes your medicine in the morning and you consistently forget to take your Monte Lucas um, because you're taking it in the evening, you may just be better off taking it in the morning, honestly. And that's really because it's more important to take it every day. And also something I didn't include on here, if you're taking this drug for exercise-induced asthma, make sure you take it two hours before your activity or workout. Next point here, this drug can be taken with or without food. It really doesn't matter. For kids, it's available as a chewable tablet or granules. And the granules are just basically a powder form of the drug, and this can be mixed with a cold or room temperature food, such as applesauce. And if you're using it for asthma, you do not want to use Monte Lucas for an acute asthma attack. And the reason for this is because it really doesn't work quick enough. Um, in this case, you'll want to use an albuterol inhaler. So how does it work exactly? Well, it is a leukotriene receptor antagonist. So what does that even mean? Well, leukotrienes, they are a pro-inflammatory substance in your body. So when these leukotrienes attach to their receptors in your lungs, they can cause respiratory inflammation, airway edema, and smooth muscle contraction, which makes it harder to breathe. So by blocking these leukotriene receptors, which is what this does, you can decrease these symptoms that I mentioned. Now, leukotrienes aren't the only thing that can cause asthma attacks, um, but at least you're blocking one pathway that can make it harder to breathe. For allergies, it's kind of the same deal. When you are exposed to an allergen that your body doesn't like, it releases leukotrienes into your nasal mucosa. And that is one of the reasons you get the runny nose, puffiness, etc. So it helps by blocking these leukotrienes. And the last thing I'm going to cover is side effects. And I want to say that the grand majority of people that take this drug have no issues and that's really one of the reasons why it's such a popular drug. However, there are some side effects that you could possibly get. Some more common ones are headache, abdominal pain, diarrhea. You could get side effects that are similar to a common cold such as coughing or runny nose. Um, also possibly you could have some fatigue. Now there are some more serious side effects that you can get. But these are very rare and I didn't list every single one here. Um, but one you could possibly get is liver damage, and this could be seen by having increased AST or ALT on your lab work, and this is a way you monitor your liver function. Also one that you'll want to monitor for is the possibility of neuropsychiatric events, which I have more information about. So there have been some post-market reports of behavioral changes, and this can happen to really any age group. And these things include uh, aggression, abnormal dreams, hallucinations, sleep disturbances, and depression, among other things. Now, the drug company that produced Singular looked into this and they found that it was a very rare occurrence. However, it is something you want to watch out for if you notice any behavioral changes in yourself or a loved one when they're taking Monte Lucas, you'll want to speak with your doctor to let them know about it. So that's all I have guys, I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for the latest pharmacy and medical updates. And I'll also post general drug reviews like this one. If you do have any further questions or concerns, you can comment below or you can speak with your doctor or pharmacist. 
So thank you guys again and have a great day.